Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at YarnSpirations.com. Really quick tutorial today on dye lot and why it matters to some of you. In older videos on how yarn is made I've showed you how the yarn is dyed whether it's a variegated or it's a soaking bath. The cotton arrives in spin rate already spun and in large bundles called hanks. First the hanks must be bleached to appear snow white. This will give opportunity for the colors to really come out vibrant and true to the color palette they need. Once bleached the hanks will be moved to a dye chamber that is a sprayer bath for both rinsing and dyeing at the same time. The operator loads hanks onto a spindle inside a dye chamber. The spindle rotates while in the dye process. They are hung vertically with several hanks on the same spindle. To start the dyeing process the yarn is washed thoroughly with hot water and then rinsed with cold water and it's now ready for dyeing. It's now time to add color. The chamber removes the wash water and then replaces it with dyed water. The hanks are hanging between sprayers that are recycling the water from the chamber. The water is at boiling point and is hitting the yarn. You can feel the heat of this when you're close to this machine. The sprayers can be positioned up or down which dictates how long the color will be inside a yarn ball. The bottom portion of the hank is sprayed for about 30 minutes as the yarn accepts the dye. As the dye hits the yarn strands it's removing dye from the water and attaching right to the yarn. As the cycle continues the water gets lighter and lighter as the dye color adheres to the yarn. They are placed inside the large tank. The water inside has dye added to it and the water is at boiling point. The hanks will sit in the water until the dye adheres to the yarn strands. Like the chamber the dye is absorbing the hanks. The water is constantly moving around to give all of the hanks a fair opportunity to be dyed the exact same color. And yarn can be dyed in different ways. So they can actually dye the actual fibers before it being spun into yarn and then they can also dye it after it's been spun. So it depends on the brand itself and what kind of yarn that it is. So what we have here is that you can buy the exact same color and same brand and the tinge be slightly different. Now because the bath is a certain size they can only do a massive amount of fibers before they have to change the water and etc. and move on to a new batch. Every time a new batch is made you will notice that there is a dye lot number that is on the ball label just like you see. So when you go to look at your balls on the, on the shelf what happens is if you turn this over you will find if this has the same number as another ball you will notice that they were in the same dye lot bath together. So I have two balls of Bernat Blanket yarn. I've been using this one clearly and this one is actually newer than this one here. So what I can do is that I can just turn it over and look at the particular um, dye lots that you see. So when I look at the dye lots here I see that this one's 2018-03140 and then this one's 2017-06163. So these were in two different dye lot baths therefore they have two different dye lots and obviously the year is completely different. So you will notice that when you're looking at the yarn shelf people tend to pull the yarn without really looking for that. So it's very possible that the yarn shelf actually may have multiple dye lots and it depends on your project if it really matters to you as well. And visually I cannot see the difference between these two and I really shouldn't be able to anyway. Mm -hmm. 